Good morning, guys. Can you hear those birds in the background? Now they're really quiet. <laughs> they're seagulls, and that means we have launched the boat and um, we are on the water, as you saw in the previous video. And today I just finished my six mile run, and first up is cleaning the boat. Um, the boat is really moldy on the inside. This is very unusual uh, for our boat because it's usually very dry in there. And somehow this year the water got inside um, on the floor, which then created moisture on the inside with the excessive heat. And so mold is growing everywhere. Bonus is for all of that, it is so easy to clean. All it needs is a good washing down and then it's good to go. So. Just threw some laundry in at the Marina laundromat. Um, we are currently staying in our van until we get the boat all cleaned up. Show you a picture of where the van is at. And the Marina is right there. Not a bad sight at all. And so I am headed down to the dock onto our boat and to start the scrubbing process. So you guys are going to join me um, to keep me entertained today. So this is where we um, launch our boat and keep our boat when we first um, pull it out of storage and that is in Blaine, Washington outside of Bellingham just on the Canadian border. But we've been coming here for the last gosh good eight years such a relaxed uh, marina um, very easy to launch the boat and we just pull up to the wall because we don't need a slip we're not staying for a period of time and as soon as we launch the boat then we walk up to the marina office itself and then we pay to launch and to stay here a night with electricity is 33 dollars a night which is a pretty good deal if you ask me and so it's so much easier to provision the boat up clean the boat up when we're on the wall and yeah i'm heading down to the boat How is it going in here? Good. <laughs> Disaster, but it cleans up easy as we know, and I got a lot of scrubbing and mold to do today. Yeah, the heater's not working. So. Oh, and our trusty heater is not working. But it's 12 years old, so yeah. it's since we haven't serviced it once. So. Yeah, it's uh, served us very well. Yeah. But, so, this is where we are sleeping and all everything needs to be cleaned up in there. Our porta potty was there. I have everything pulled out as you can see because it all needs to be scrubbed. I will give you a full on tour of the boat once it's all cleaned up, but today on my agenda is cleaning only, so I gotta get at it. But everything is cleaning up really nicely. The mold is gone um, where I have cleaned it. And so good news is this is all washable and the fiberglass keeps it clean and nothing gets into the pores or anything like that. So onward with the cleaning. Well guys, the boat is looking 100% better. Everything is cleaned from the inside out. There's no more dirt, no more mold or anything in here. Everything now looks 
very tidy and so big difference yeah all cleaned up nice and fresh smelling this is all cleaned up from under here So yeah, that is it for today's video because after running six miles and scrubbing the boat all day, it's now 1700. I'm a bit wiped out. Um, we have decided that we are not going to go repair the existing stove in here. And so we're going to head on into town, try and figure out what modifications we can make to that hole that is now in the um, countertop and we need some supplies because things got a little wrecked from all the mold and the moisture and we are going to pick up some supplies at the boat store itself so thanks for watching today's video and we will see you guys tomorrow bob's working on pumping up the dinghy so we can do some maintenance on that too thanks for watching